Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Buddy Blackford for the new Boston Adobe After Effects CS6 tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about opacity and how to fade things out and fade them in or turn them off or turn them on. So, let's get right to it. This should be a pretty quick tutorial. Um, let's start now. The quickest way right, to get to opacity is by clicking on a layer and pressing T. That brings up the opacity. So you can do it to this one also. Another way is to twirl down into your transforms and then opacity is down there at the bottom. So let's uh I like to hit T because it doesn't have all the other crap in the way. So if you have opacity at hundred percent it's going to show if you have it at zero it's going to be gone turn it on. Um, I have the uh, two squishes here and then we can uh, you can animate opacity and that's the way you can do crossfades or you can animate uh, opacity to be to be 100% and then 0% to just turn right off real quick. So I'll explain. We'll start at, at the beginning. We'll set the opacity to 100% by keyframing it clicking on the stopwatch starts the keyframe and then we'll go in like a second and go to zero now if I do a, a RAM preview you can see it fades out simple enough now you want something to turn off really quick so you set your keyframe at um, at a point hit the page down button to go one frame I use this all the time type in zero percent and now you can see it'll turn it'll turn it off yep that one turns right off without fading that's easy and um, when you're doing something like this and you turn it you're gonna turn this off for good you can grab your layer here on the end and pull it in close that way after effects doesn't try to render any um, layers you have any frames on the layers and it'll save you uh, processing time so then I would try to take this all the way down here doesn't have to be right on sometimes if you do it right on you might mess up and have it like cut off too early or something like that you can also um, animate opacity at the same time. So let's delete these keyframes. And I'm going to turn it off here. I'm going to click on both of these by holding Control or Shift. Shift will uh, select a bunch in a row. Like here, I'll, I'll click on this. And then I'll hold Shift and click on BG. Oh, that's locked. Hold on. And it'll select all of them in between. Or I can click on the layer and hit control and it'll only select. Kind of like when you're selecting keyframes. So let's um looks like the opacity is at zero. We'll turn that back on hundred real quick. So you can see what's going on. Alright. Select both hit T and if you hit the stopwatch for one it's going to make it go for two if you have or for both of them if you have uh, both selected move it now all you gotta do is select or uh, type in the percentage for one and they will both go to 50 percent move it back here and then put it back up and just doing one doesn't have to be the top one I can do it to the bottom one too let's do 95 percent oh not one one zillion ninety five, just ninety five. Now you can see they're both at ninety five. Quick way to animate things at the same time. Another little tip for uh, animating opacity or any other value really. Um, click on your keyframe here, and your current time indicator is not on that keyframe, so you don't know that what the value is of this keyframe 
So you can uh, right click it, 50% right there. This one, you right click it, you know that one's at 100%. So let's see if those were actually at 100% and 50. Yep, that was at 100 and this one was at 50. It's a quick way to figure out what your keyframes are. So that's, uh, that's it for animated opacity. It's really simple. Opacity is used all the time to turn layers off or to fade out. Fading out happens all the time. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Made it quick for you. And uh, go, go out and have some fun. See you later.